<laughs> it's a new car, surprise! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. That's right. Macy is getting a new car today. Well, not today, but in today's episode. But that's not all that's gonna happen in today's episode. We're gonna surprise her with a new car. It's her birthday, she's been wanting a new car. She's put like 120,000 miles on her Jeep since we've lived out here in the country. I mean, every time you go get gas, you're putting like 40 miles on your car. And so that thing's, I wouldn't say it's on its last leg. It could probably last a little bit longer, but I wanna make sure she's got a reliable vehicle when she's taking Brooklyn everywhere and running around town and doing all the things that she needs to do. And so I told her, I was like, well, we need to wait till we're moving or we are moved until you get a new car. That way we're not running a, a new car or a newer car, I should say, on gravel roads and beating it up and getting it all dirty and mucky because we're living off a paved road where the new house is getting built. She knows nothing about it, knows absolutely nothing about it. Today we are going to get the shop cleaned up. That's what's actually gonna happen. We got beefcake movers right here. They're getting everything boxed up, all the boxes boxed up at least. And we're gonna try to at least get a decent chunk, a decent dent done of the shop. We're not packing all the way up today, um, but we're gonna get it organized. I gotta figure out what I'm keeping, what I'm selling, what I'm donating, what I'm trashing. And speaking of selling, we're gonna be doing a massive live stream on whatnot on Rob's, you know, Lunkers TV, Robert Turkla. He's been doing all the, the trading cards and stuff. He's actually gonna fly up here and auction off a bunch of the stuff in this shop. Like a ton, a ton of stuff. Memorabilia stuff that's from videos and, and some really cool stuff and stuff that you could probably get on really, really good discount. And so we are gonna sort it all out today. We still have a whole bunch of stuff from the Amazon return palette that we need to go through and figure out what we're keeping, what we're donating, what we're selling. And then as well as everything else in the fishing corner, the hunting corner, like maybe if you guys want some nice pink clays, no, probably not, we're probably not gonna sell that. But the fishing corner, the hunting corner has a ton of stuff that I just don't have time to use anymore. Or I've upgraded and I don't need it. I mean, look at all this stuff. Like I'm not gonna get rid of all this, the fishing stuff, all the gooing stuff, I'm keeping a lot of it. But there's tons and tons and tons of old, like, like I don't, like I don't need this right here. I don't, I don't need this. I, I just don't, I don't need it anymore. I mean, we got extra hoodies, extra jackets, we've got baits, like I'm keeping a lot of it, but there's a bunch of it that I'm gonna get rid of. I mean, this is like, these are like old tackle boxes from high school, okay? Like at this point, I need to get rid of. What's in there? Slam full. I don't know. Like, like I, just, I just don't need it all. I'm just being honest, I don't need it all. And so I would rather have somebody else enjoy it. So we are going to sort through some of this stuff, bundle, we'll probably make some bundles. Like, I mean, like if you want this trash can included with a bunch of these baits, they're not throw, thrown away, like somehow they're in a trash can, but like they're brand new baits. You know, we got brand new, like, we just get so much stuff made and sent out. I don't have time to use it and I don't have time to wear it. I don't have time to enjoy it. I mean, there's a whole bin of old spinning reels that are perfectly good. There's no, no. nothing wrong with them. What else do you we see? We auctioning this off or no? What is that? Yo, Chef Boyardee. Hey, that was for uh, a crawfish trapping video. Oh, yeah. And we didn't catch nothing. So if you guys want some Chef Boyardee, but I mean like brand new trolling motors. We got brand new boxes. All like, you can store your jerk baits in this. Like. There's a million things that I'm just like, I don't, I just, again, I don't have time to use all of it. So we are gonna end up making some bundles, making some boxes and take it to whatnot. And you guys will have the opportunity to bid on them. Basically help me get rid of stuff that's in my shop. And then again, whatever doesn't sell, we'll donate and uh, and we'll get rid of. And so today's episode, we are going to just start tackling the shop. I wanna bring you guys along with us. You guys said in the last video, you wanna see some moving vlogs, so I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. Um, like I said, Beefcake Movers, they're getting all, of, all the boxes ready to go because we're gonna start just boxing stuff up, getting ready to move, bringing everything down from the loft. Like if you guys seen the loft, like the loft has an obnoxious amount of stuff in it and like half of it, I don't even know what's it's up here. Like every time we get something that's like, ah, oh, we're not gonna really use that for a while, we throw it in the loft. So I have a rule. If I haven't used it or touched it or needed it in the last two years, we gotta get rid of it. We gotta sell it, we gotta donate it, we gotta trash it. So you come up here, I mean, you got lawn chairs, boat seats, bike tires for a bike that I don't own. Whatever these metal things are, like they just gotta go. Look, this is for a side-by-side, -side, custom ducks wrap side-by-side -side panels. I don't need that anymore. I don't have that machine anymore. I mean, you've got bow targets, which those are fine. I have no problem with that. More, I mean, an unboxed blind, deer blind. It's like, I don't need another blind. I got plenty of blinds. Remember the mirror blind from the turkey video a couple years ago? We got that. We got crawfish traps, all this. So I'm gonna get all this stuff here, brought down, look at that. <laughs> Sheesh. I think we got enough. Yeah, I think we got, we probably got enough boxes. This is also if we run, or if we have too many, this also will help move the house. I had Kay just pick up 
a bunch of boxes. So they're getting it all taped up. I told them double tape them so they're ready to rock and roll. I mean, like, a couple loose floaters. Maybe we'll auction those off. Like, there's a ton of stuff. So anyways, link down in the description down below. And it's going to be on, I believe, Monday. What date would that be? Is it the 27th, I think? Monday. Let me see. Monday the 27th. I think that's the day. It'll be linked down in the description regardless. I'll get it right if it's not. But I think it's Monday the 27th. Lunger's TV is going to fly up here. And he's going to help auction off a bunch of this stuff. So that way I don't have to move it. And I, again, I want you guys to be able to enjoy it. Some of you guys that don't have like a pair of waders. These are perfectly fine waders that I haven't worn in four years. Maybe if you're size 10, those could be yours. So that's the plan. We are going to get everything boxed up moved, organized, more importantly, we got to find a way to consolidate this into one side so we can go pick up Macy's car from the dealership and bring it in here and surprise her for her birthday. With that being said, you gotta stay tuned. got a lot of stuff folks a lot of stuff so this is all stuff that we are moving every a lot of the stuff there's still stuff up there okay but it wasn't stuff that we could box up you can't box it up i'm like why bring it down there's no point might as well leave it up there for right now we gotta leave space for macy's car she doesn't know but we're gonna park it right here and we're gonna surprise her tomorrow but as far as what we are going to be auctioning off on whatnot boy are there gonna be some deals to be had okay first and foremost these bad mamma jammas. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not kidding. These will actually be there. But I'm to, all my, all of my old tackle. Like this is like high school flair bass fishing with only black and blue chatterbaits. Kind of like I'm, I'm done. I'm over. I want all of these out of here. These fully, fully, full baits, plastics, hard. I mean, this is in. This is my high school topwater box. I just, it's just, it's too much, Banjo. Yep. We gotta get rid of it. I said, if I ain't touched it in two years, well, I haven't touched it in almost 10. So, you got more crankbaits, more crankbaits, more crankbaits. I mean, there's some really nice I mean, stuff. Look at A this. body bag filled with baits. And apparel in the bottom. Like, filled, okay? If you want trail cameras, an entire bin of working trail cameras. An entire bin. I don't know if I'll sell them one at a time. There's like 50 of them in there. And then there's, look, duck hunting, hunting stuff. stuff. We have a ton of prototypes. Put that sucker on. If this don't go for 100 bucks, I don't know what will. Yeah, I don't know. Just some vintage, vintage stuff. We got ducks, prototypes, Guggen prototypes, never before seen products. I mean, like money bag. Look at, look how big that money bag is. I mean, it's full. It's not just Guggen stuff. It's everything that I've had laying around for years that I'm like, listen, now's the time. Boom, money bag, money bag, money bag, money bag. All of these, just, OG calls. yeah, that's, that's an OG yeah. duck call right there. And uh, we found some old MTBs, we found some old baits. We, I mean, yeah, hold that up. I mean, that's- That's the remote control boat I might be on from that. the Amazon Palette video. So there's a ton of, I mean, like this, you're like, oh, what, why are you gonna auction off this little bucket? Well, you just go ahead and give her a peek and it's completely filled with baits. I mean, you've got 
a 10 pack of lunker logs in black and red flake. I mean, I mean, full stuff. And you get a lunch. So, box. and you get a lunch box. Last cooler. A ton of stuff. You're talking tens of thousands of dollars of baits. And again, it's stuff that's never been seen before. Old apparel, old prototypes. I mean, this whole box of reels. Look at these. These are nice, relatively new reels. Reels, reels in the box. Okay, more reels. I mean, more reels. Look, this is the first Guggen spinning reel of all time. Prototype, vintage. It's going. Everything will be available, but it'll be the link down in the description down below. And we're going to be putting it on whatnot. And Lunker TV is going to come up here. And he's going to run the show. And I'm going to do my best to sign everything as it goes out the door. And again, any of the stuff here could be yours. You just got to tune in, folks. Like I said, link down in the description. Those Legendary. are going to be the number one. Legendary. The number one seller yeah. is going to be that sucker right there. So uh, there you have it, folks. We got everything sorted. The shop is here. Now we are ready to back up the U-Haul and load it. Like more importantly, we're gonna go to the dealership tomorrow and pick up the new set of wheels and then get Macy's reaction. You guys stay tuned. folks well it's the next day and we picked up the new whip this thing is so much cooler in person than i even realized i mean this thing this thing crazy i didn't even know they made them like this, this well they don't yeah they don't this thing is completely custom i didn't even know it so my buddy chase over at sid dylan in fremont which is where we're at now well we're actually at menards because we had to throw macy a curveball yeah. so i told her i'm going to menards so we brought the car here to do this video so she thinks i'm in menards right now so she, she asks technically we okay we bought stuff at menards okay i, I bought I, I bought two toilets okay for the remodel but so we brought it here because it's just right across the street so that way she doesn't actually see me at the dealership so then she won't suspect anything i've never really like surprised her at this level and i don't want to blow it because she's she's not like a detective but she just pays attention to every little detail and so I'm trying to, I mean, getting a whole vehicle, we were trading in her car, so I had to convince the dealership to let me take this car before I bring them her car, so they were nice enough to do that. Uh, but anyways, this is the reveal. You guys ready for this? Wah-bam! This is a GMC Denali, but it, like Jake was saying, it's not stock, okay? It's a used vehicle, lightly used, also the best way to buy a vehicle. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to find exactly what you want and be used, and I was talking with Chase. He literally sent me a picture of this one day because he knew I was looking for something. I was like, I just need to get Macy a bigger SUV, something that can, you know, haul more stuff, more kids down the road, looking out for the future. Want something cool, comfortable, clean, that will only temporarily break the bank, okay? He texted me this picture of this bad boy, and I all I responded was, I'll take it. Didn't ask the price, didn't ask the miles. So like, this thing is freaking sick. So it's a Denali, which is like a pretty high-end SUV, but the guy customized it. He, the guy who owned it, the previous owner, like he blacked out all the trim. Like this doesn't come the factory. AT4 model comes yeah. with all blacked out. And then he, he took it. All the pieces off yes. the AT4. And put it on here. Put them on this. To black it out. Completely blacked out the tint. Got aftermarket wheels put on there. Aftermarket running boards. I've never had a vehicle that does that. I've always thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And then even in the front, you've got the murdered out lights, the grill. This was custom matched. Okay, custom paint match doesn't come like that. And then this thing is supposed to glow. Which is crazy to me. That that this isn't this doesn't come on me. No. So it's I mean sheesh. I mean, it's kind of for me. It's for Macy, but I mean, I'm not gonna feel bad driving it either. You know this what I mean? Is the coolest one you got. I like, know. You got 17 vehicles. This one. I know. Sick. This is this is the coolest. So huge shout out to Chase uh, for finding this thing and being patient with me. I was like, I can buy it, but I can't pick it up for a month. I've had this for a month. I was like, I can buy it, but I can't pick it up for a month. And you can have Macy's car for a month, and she can't know about it. And I need the car first, and then I'll bring you her car. And he was like, Sure, sounds good. Anyways, I'll give you guys a quick tour of the inside. Uh, this is like the I want to call it the small. It's not the long long edition it's just the normal normal edition this is dude this is the nicest car ever dude look this is how you shift is that not crazy you get the old you give it the old flick that's nuts i've never seen that before i just got the stick yeah the old stick it usually stick does, does it, it. You yeah. see oh yeah oh yeah look at the sunroof she well, does sound she sounds mean dude cold start dude. <laughs> 
This is the coolest grocery getter I've ever seen. I'll tell you what. It's got 22,000 miles. So again, she's been lightly loved on. Just enough to get a good deal to basically knock off that retail pricing. Like one of these off the lot with the customization, well over $100,000. You're talking like $110,000, $115,000 to get it. I think that they call it the ultimate Denali is like the, all the stuff to this thing. Off the lot, ready to go. It's like 110 and you can't even get them. It's impossible. Like I looked at Yukons, I looked at Tahoes, I looked at Wagoneers, I looked at Escalades. Anything that was a bigger, bigger size vehicle, any of the nice stuff is like 100 grand. Can you even believe it? Hundred thousand dollars on a car. It doesn't even make sense. Something that just depreciates they can take it off the lot. So if you can get lucky like me and get something with twenty some thousand, it's been driven for I think this is a twenty one. I think it's a twenty two. Maybe a twenty one. But either way, you know, a year or two old, usually two years is good. And you know, less than like ten thousand miles a year is like even better. And so this thing's been lightly used. So that way the first owner takes the hit on it and not your boy. Don't get me wrong, still paid a hefty price for this sucker, but it beats spending 120000 because that just doesn't make sense ever. But the back seat, this is where Brooklyn's going to get excited when she gets a little bit older here. It looks like Exhibit from Pit My Ride got a hold of this sucker. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, look, at what do you even, what do you even, what can you even play on here? Can you play Call of Duty? Like, I'm sure you can plug something into this sucker. But we got, we got, oh, yeah. Look, you got your own oh, heated seats back here. Brooklyn's going to have row? heated seats in the back row? Jeez, no way. Buddy. Dude, this is this so is you can fancy. like plug in all your you have, stuff. Yeah, you have USB-C and HDMI. Dude, Dang. we can play PS4. Road, in the car. road trips, let's go. We're going. We're going. Macy's driving. Can we take this paddle fishing. We're just going to no? yes. Our next fishing trip, we just back here, dude. Imagine split screen right <laughs> Dual here. monitors, dude. This thing is sick. So it's got the third row back here. You can flip it down for plenty of cargo space. With the third row up, you don't have a whole lot of cargo space. Like I said, I got the smaller one. I didn't get like the XL. I don't think it's necessary. I think. For the most part, I mean, we can have a whole nother child. Until that third one, you don't need the back row. Yeah. So you can fold the back, I mean, we got, we got we got time, buddy. This ain't a race, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. But I mean, they got vents back there, they have USB-C charging ports back there, I can see. I haven't even been in this car yet, this is crazy. What do we got, you got dang one in here? Yeah, USB-C, charger, right there, cup holder. Dude, you take a freaking nap in That's this That's kind sucker. of the spot. This is the, pla this is the place steady. to be. What do we got, what does this button do? No way! What? No! Yeah, right here. Just folds them down or what? I think it's, it don't bring them back up, but it, it, it at least knocks them down for you, I guess. Oh, and then you can move them. This is... This thing's way too fancy this thing's for fancy. I, It's gonna take me a while to... Is it sunroof? That thing's big. It's not small. I can't believe you can HDMI and play Call of Duty right here. Like... There's headphones. No way! Oh, we definitely gotta play COD. The Bluetooth? Dude, yes, no cords. No, the logo's on them. No That's way. Sick. Yeah, they Bluetooth to here, so no cords. You just playing God. That's crazy. All right, so we've got a lot of buttons. This thing does something, I bet. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, that charges your phone. Okay, I've seen those before. What do we got going on here? What do we got? Boxes of surprises. Put your little package in there. What is this? This is all this is for my headsets. Oh, that way I know. Some nice storage in here. But yeah, dude, the shifting. Like, if I just sneeze and hit reverse, we're going. You know what I mean? <laughs> probably not. You probably have to hit the brake. But still, that's just crazy to me. This thing is so sick. The full touchscreen. You see the rear view mirror? Yeah, the rear view mirror is a screen. It's a camera. Yeah, it, it's not a mirror. But I'm pretty sure. Can you change it? Yeah, yeah you that's can. just reflective. Yeah. And that's the Dang. camera. Dang. Yeah, this thing's got 360. So no excuses, Macy. We can't be hitting stuff, okay? We got sensors everywhere. Built in garage door opener. Some type of alarm cutoff system or something. Let's go! No way! Let's go! Yeah, baby. Hey, how we doing? I think it's a little upgrade from the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I oh think. God, yeah. Just a it's just sick. a little, just a little upgrade. I think. I don't know what Macy's gonna it, it, reaction's gonna be. We've oh. talked about her getting a car, but it was kind of just like we're remodeling a house, we're building a house, we're trying to move. And every vehicle, because I was gonna just go get a new one, because I wanted to get one that was cool. You can't get them; they're they're back stock. So I was just like, why don't we just cross that bridge when we get there? And once we're settled in and moved, like I said, then Chase texted me, and I was like, ooh, yes, I'll take it. Lightly used, looks freaking sick. It'll be perfect. I don't think she's expecting this. Now the game is, how do we get this back to the house in the shop that you guys saw us organize? She saw us organizing the shop. Get it in the shop, and so she doesn't see it. And then tomorrow, I gotta get her to go in the shop and not make it obvious. 
and then get her reaction. Hey, you want to go in the shop for what? I don't know. I, so I got to think that one through tonight. I also thought, do I get her a gift and put the key in it? Mm. Or is it just like walks in the shop blindsided? Her other gift that I got her, which was not nearly as fancy as this, is in the shop just because I'm storing it in there. But it's a small box. She's going to be like, why don't you just bring it in here? So I'm like, hey, you want to go to the shop and get your gift? She'd be like, no, why don't you just bring it to me? Yeah. So I got to think that one through tonight. But I think it'd be it'd be like her reaction, seeing the key would be cool. But I think her just walking to the shop, going after something else, and then just seeing a car and she's like, what is this? And, I'll be like, and I'm just like holding the keys. I think that's yeah. that's her. We got to get her reaction. Because yeah. I don't know. She doesn't, like I said, I've never really done a big surprise because she's usually too clever to catch on. And there's a chance she already knows about it. I'm doubtful though. She She's, I don't know. I'll have to ask her like after the fact. Did, she, did you know? Did you catch on? Because I did have to spend about an hour here at the dealership. Mm -hmm. So she checked my location at any point that time. I told her I was at Menards though. I'm just hoping that she thinks like the satellites are a little off because they're like a mile away. Sure. But anyways, this thing is badass. I'm excited. So we're going to drive this back. We've got to hide it, get it down to the house without her knowing, and then get the reveal. And then she'll test drive it. Stay tuned. You ready? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> she, I don't think she has any idea, bro. Like, no, she has no idea. Really? No. Not any suspicious? So she thinks I'm filling up her tire. I'm going to tell her I can't get the garage up. I need her help. So she'll just walk right in. All right. Should be easy. It's just not open. <laughs> what the f is that? <laughs> it's a new car. Surprise. <laughs> Did you have any idea? No. I'm like, new car. Maybe in a year. <laughs> What? You know what kind of covert operation Jake had to do? Oh, shit. He, he, she didn't even notice me. <laughs> Where are you parked out there? He's, he took this. So you gotta oh take me The amount of planning. I would have never noticed you if you didn't say anything. You're good camo, just sitting back there. You look cooler. Oh my god. What do you think? Am I supposed to drive this like before we move? Yeah, we have to take, oh. we're taking it tonight. Oh my god. Oh, tonight. Yeah, that's why. I traded your car in so you can't drive yours anymore, so. <laughs> the odometer's gonna stay. Yeah, we gotta keep the odometer where it's at, otherwise they're gonna be pissed. Well, it needs an oil change. That's well, their don't problem. Tell them. That's them. I traded in already. What do you think? Oh my god. So you had no idea? No. Dude, oh no my gosh. Suspicions. That was so hard. No, because. Let's hear it. You had to, I, I bet you knew something. No, 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 she, no. I know she does. No, after what, what our furniture sus? bill, and then after, like, just hearing everything else we have to pay for, I was like, yeah, we probably should just wait on a car. Like, and we probably should have, okay. but here we are. Too late now. It's really warm. But you never you never suspected anything. No. Really? <laughs> Dang it. We crushed it, dude. Oh, my God. Yes. When did you get here? When I sent you guys downstairs, he was waiting by the animals. <laughs> and I was like, you want to show her downstairs? Hoping you would be like, yeah, not like, why? I was why? like, okay, I mean, I don't know and why. I'm like, I have to I'm show like go, go. So I ran out here and opened the shop door for him. Because I didn't know how quick you guys would come up and down. Oh. So then he flew in here, shut it. So wait, did your mom actually have boxes in her car? Yes, she's not in on it. <laughs> I didn't trust her, I'll be honest. See, I was worried your mom was going to drive down the driveway and see me and be like, hey, somebody that's, parked down That's why it said, pull, I was like, pull by the animals because yeah. I was afraid she was going to see him park down there oh, and be she like, could definitely see oh, me because really? I could see her oh. pulling in. I was like, she, oh, didn't, she was oblivious, so that's, yeah. good. that's good. Not that I don't trust her, but I was just like, the less people that know, the better. Yeah. Only, she, just Jake and I know. There's no other person on this planet that knows. She busted you. For having plans tonight. Yeah, I, yeah. She, I was like, got you know, mom is a babysitter, gonna surprise her. Like, hey, we're going to dinner and a new car. And my mom's like, I can't wait to watch Brooklyn on Friday night or Saturday night. And I was like, sick, mom. All right, never mind. Like, <laughs> yeah, she blew it. Which I didn't. In, in her defense, I didn't tell her as a surprise, but it was just kind of one of those like, hey, I'm gonna take Macy out. Can you watch Brooklyn? Oh yeah. And she's like, I can't wait to watch Brooklyn. I'm like, yeah, we're at dinner last week, and she's like, I can't wait to come to your house. And I was like, huh? what? <laughs> so at least we got the double in the car. Yeah. I mean, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. Take that, but this is sick. You like, is it not? This is the color I wanted. Too. I know, really? I know. <laughs> I like secretly, like when I was talking with Chase, he sent me a picture of this because it was like a fresh trade, and I was like, uh -huh. I was like, whatever. So I went, I didn't show that photo, but I went to Google and found the exact one. I was like, like, do you like this color, or like, what about the white, or like, what about this gray? And you're like, oh, I really like the gray. And I was like, oh yeah, I mean, I like white better. And like, just try to throw her away off. And I was like, Chase, I'll take it. <laughs> like, <laughs> just try to completely. I've always dodge been it. like, no, I don't want the white. <laughs> well, well, well. well, you didn't get the white, so congrats. Yeah, you want to look around in this yeah. sucker or what? You get to see the back. You got the back's honestly the coolest part. This is part. where I gotta sit most of the time. I mean, you have oh. TVs, 
Heated seats, climate control, power. That's awesome. Yeah, this thing's this this thing's the deal. I love the captain seats. Yeah, I know. Way better it's than gonna be the bench. so much more comfortable. Yes. Like right now in the Jeep, I'm like, yeah. hey, can you hear my sunglasses? Yeah, it's a little it's a little cramped. So this guy, I know you don't, you know, us guys like to geek out yeah. about the cool things, but <laughs> this thing's gonna go fully custom, not by me, by the previous <laughs> owner, but it's fully custom. Like like this is aftermarket. Like it's black. Okay. Like, so Basically, he blacked, oh, is this? like he blacked them all out. Like those are Escalade wheels. GMC the... makes models. Yes. Of everything that are called the AT4. Yeah, they're like blacked out. Blacked out. So he like them. meshed a bunch of cars into one. Here, come look. Come look at the front. The front's yeah, cool. Yeah, the too. front is nuts. This lights up. That's like aftermarket. Oh, this is all black. This is paint match. The lights are black, like tinted. I mean, buddy, like yeah. buddy went hard. Makes five percent. I mean, <laughs> look at this thing. I mean, is that not the coolest grocery getter you've ever seen, yes. though? I mean. Like every emblem, everything's black. Like everything's just murdered out on this thing. It looked cooler when it was clean, but you know, yeah, it, country yeah, her, things. Her, her birthday. I know. Is rain, it rained. So. Not the best. Oh, it has a. Yeah, a car. Oh, I feel like you get those names off four dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's answering about. about. Yeah. So cool. Oh, and then you can put like the back down. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I haven't messed with this. It should just flip, yeah. Because the car might have to be out. Well, yeah, but it's off. It should all. The whole thing should do the thing. You know what I mean? Dude, I can't believe we pulled that off. <laughs> Dude, I was sweating all day. Dude, I don't think my heart rate's been higher than that in like a long time. Dude, it was crazy. Why? Because I had to go pick it out and pay for it and then pick it up three separate times without you knowing that I was at the dealership. Is that why you went to Fremont yesterday? Yeah, partially. We picked up toilets. We picked up toilets. We did I mean, get toilets. But okay. We, we, we made the tour. We made, basically put the car in the Menards parking lot and then filmed. So if you checked, you were like, yeah, there's at Menards. Like, I don't know how often you check my, like, she's not like a stalker, but every once in a while you'll check my location. I mostly just check it, like, to see if you're on your way home. Yeah. Yet. Like, at the end of the but day. I was like, dude, she's going to catch me like red-handed. It's going to call up and be like, sit down, rap. Like, she's going to know what's going on. It's so, like, every time I'd go there, I would be like, Chase, you got to make it fast. Like, <laughs> we got, like, four minutes, and then I got to be at Menards. Otherwise, she's going to be suspicious, you know? <laughs> oh, so, my God. Yeah. We went up, we bought it, and then I was like, I had to tell Chase, I was like, you need to keep this thing for like, like if I had this thing for like a month. I was like, you need to keep this thing for a month, and you don't How get Macy's do you car for another month. <laughs> and he was like, done. So if it, was, if it wasn't for him, there's no way we would have got it done. <laughs> You're keeping it like on under wraps. You need to like no mention it to anything. me and Banjo until like a week ago. No, no, He's no, owned one, it no, for a month. no one knows anything. <laughs> Nobody. Like I didn't trust anybody. I was like, nope. And then it was Friday yesterday and we we're like we got to pick this thing up yeah, we're like, oh, so i was God. like all right i'm gonna call macy hey we're going to menards so maybe the gps would be off of it shows over at sid dillon but we're right by menards <laughs> so then we went to menards or we went to sid dillon picked it up put it in the menards parking lot and then filmed it yeah yeah you were being kind of pushy with when i was gonna be at the house yeah because we were supposed to pick <laughs> this up like, at no but like are you gonna be there in the morning or the afternoon i told you yeah, yeah. I, literally I, don't, told me. I don't know I because just, i'm like dude I'm i told chase yet. i'd be there at 10 to pick up the car and you're like i might go up to the house uh, at 10. I was like, oh, really? Okay. And then I was like, but maybe not until like 3 or 4. No, I, you should see the text conversation. I was like, 10? After lunch? 1.30. 11. Like, Actually, we're here. And, and I was like, on my way. Because I'm like, hey, how, how long are you going to be with this guy? Anyways, we, pull, we pulled it off. We dude. did do it. We pulled it off. You like it? Yeah. It's awesome. This thing's sick. Yeah. I like, it's like partial, like it's a gift for you. I mean, definitely for you, but like, I'm equally as excited. Like, this thing's freaking awesome, dude. Like, you'll enjoy driving I'm this be, more. I'm gonna be ripping around mine. on this sucker. You're gonna have to go back to driver's ed. This thing feels like you're 250 driving hey, it. It's a, I, it's a large vehicle. I learned how to drive in my dad's expedition. Oh, okay, that's Very a big rig. That's a big rig. This thing feels. Large. It's a big. It's a big dog. Yeah. yeah. It's not small. It's V8. Yeah, it goes fast. It goes, fa goes fast. She does sound nice. It's <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Should we should we get her a quick rev here? See what she sounds like. There we are. We're in the car and he's like. Your tire's low, and it went on and off, and... Yeah, because I'm like, I, how am I supposed to tell her her tire sensor's low, and then the sensor doesn't say it's low? So I was like, it was low, but I shut it off, and now it's not, so I'm gonna check it, because I don't want to get a flat tire today. Yeah, and I was... <laughs> like, I mean, it was, it was a terrible idea. I was like, it was a terrible I'm gonna kill Brad if my tire is punctured with a nail again. I know. We've gone through so many tires. Well, and then they, you're they, like... I can't get the garage door open. I need your help. I'm like, what, you what am do? I going to do? <laughs> this is what it takes to get her in the shop. Yes. She never comes she in. Never, I could have this thing in here for a month and it wouldn't have mattered. Like, like, the original like, idea was to tell her, oh, your gift's in the shop. Which this it was. Like, well, why is it in the <laughs> shop? Which it was. I already gave it to her this morning because I was already out here and I was like, I had to get eggs out of, the, out of this fridge. I was like, I might as well bring her the gift. Then that'll really throw. I thought maybe she's on to us. So I'm going to go to the shop and then throw her off and just give her a gift. And then she's like, oh. Like, if you were on to it, I was going to try to really throw you off. But I should have just. All right. Let's give her, let's give her a start here. My car and he's driving it. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> he's like easy now. 
This thing's awesome. What does the rear mirror do? It's a screen. Or a mirror, you can pick. Or a mirror, but it's a screen. The camera's in the back. Dang. Do you see how you shift it? Does it have automatic brights? Yes. And automatic I would brights? hope <laughs> so. Everything's automatic. <laughs> because her car doesn't have automatic brights, and I like, I'll flip them on and just be in a daze and just blind everybody. I was driving it here, like, and it was adjusting the seat heater temperature to like stay at the same temp. Oh. Like it'd get too hot, and it'd it, just like make itself go back down. That's what I need. You get it? Have you seen how it shifts? That's, the, that's gonna throw her off. Oh, that's God, freaky. Yeah. It threw me off. It's, it's gonna take you a second. What is it? Do you not see it right here? Oh. This is buttons. You you flick it and push it. You do. Flick the reverse though. Well, don't because you, I mean you put your foot on the brake if you're gonna do with something here. <laughs> what do you mean flick it? Are you using your foot on the oh. brake? Now you're in reverse. Don't run me over. Ugh, my seat just buzzed. Oh yeah, because yeah, there's stuff behind you. There's stuff behind you. So no no excuses, no wrecks. All right. Yeah, this it's got three sixty. It vibrates. Camera. It also has the. Uh, the cruise control that'll slow down for you. Yeah. I was using that on the way. It's got the lane thing. Yeah. So like you just say you want to go 55, but if some like little yeah. grandma's in front of you going slow, like you won't rear end her. Is your truck? One of my, no, one of my old trucks used to. Oh. I old remember trucks. driving and I'd be like, and yeah, it, slow it slows down, down for you. It, what do you think? This is awesome. <laughs> really? All right, well you're driving. <laughs>